Hello, Leo. Thank you so much for stopping by. I um, wanted to get on and do a reading, a 10-day reading from September 1st to September 10th. We're going to pull a card for each day, and then we're going to clarify each card. Then we'll get messages from the universe. Okay? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please like and subscribe if you like. Alright, what's going on September 1st? The Devil. King of Pentacles the second. Stress the third. Spine on something the fourth. Alright, Leo. Let's see. That King of Pentacles likes this top row here. Y'all were my last ones out of the whole zodiac for today. And that King of Pentacles has been up here all day. Let's see what's going on on the 6th, September 6th for Leo 7th. September 7th. 8th, 9th. Ooh, they flipped out. Ooh, a turnaround of energy. There's hope. After something nasty. Ooh. I mean, this is daily energies. You know, it could be like, um little things like in the last one it was like somebody got a phone call that they their plans this weekend got canceled you know and they were like well just stay home with the kids <laughs> so I mean these energies here they're you know some of them can be like really really put in some of you know but it's it's daily it's not like something I don't know. we have things happen in the days that's for sure let's we'll see Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. So you have stability in your home in these next ten days. You, you know, you're you're at home and you might have uh oh, I just got buying a house. Hmm. I don't get that often. Look at this. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Are you buying a house? Look at this. Yeah, y'all got some good energy. It don't look like it on the board, but you sure got a lot of stuff going on, you know, that's making you happy. You might have some, you know, some mishaps and stuff happening around it, but it looks like you're really content. What is this devil? I say that, and then I have the devil here. What is this devil? And I could be sticking my foot in my mouth, y'all. It could be the total opposite. <laughs> But that's what I feel looking at the energies that's on the. Okay, there was some kind of collaboration that didn't go through. Something didn't um, happen like you wanted it to. It was kind of like it, it froze in time. And there wasn't any stability. It was like an outside source had did this, okay? And there wasn't any stability with this. Uh, Or maybe you knew there was stability in the collaboration that didn't come through. You were kind of like, well, that's okay. You know, we could wait. But I feel like an outside source had did this. Uh, no collaboration. So you can't, I mean, you can have a plumber come into your house and they call you and be like, hey, not coming today. You know, or something of that sort. And it just, it didn't phase you, but you're like, oh, okay. I mean, you kept your stance, you know. You're the emperor. You're still stable. Okay, what's the king of pentacles for the second day? And y'all, this is going to all come together. It's going to hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm going to be like, oh, okay. Look, these kings are out. I just can't. I can't. And I clear my energy, y'all. I clear my energy so much. I sit in meditation. I sage. I've got, you know, I've got bay leaves. I've got, I got all kinds of rosemary burning. We've got all kinds of stuff going. But this king of cups, this king of pentacles, and this king of swords is just three readings now, y'all three readings. This king of swords, this king of pentacles, and this king of cups has been in the forefront with a negative card in the middle. Look at this. You're going to cut out. 
Anything that puts you in isolation, anything that left you alone, you're cutting it out. You're like, I'm more stable without this. I have my emotions balanced. I don't need any, I don't need this not, no contact. Oh. To bother me anymore. I'm stable in my own, my own, own ways. And <laughs> so either this put someone else in a funk or this put you in a funk because we've got a sleepless night in here and that's the third day okay hold on one second okay I had to shut my door so, you're in this funk on the third day, or somebody's in a funk because you've stood your ground. You cut out what you did no longer need. Yeah, King of Swords, Knight of Swords, you cut it out. It caused a tower. Maybe you got a new contractor or something, you know? You made a decision. You were like, nope, this isn't working out for me. I'm cutting this out. It's causing too much turmoil. got the tower here this is the turmoil you know this is the what happened to this person why didn't they contact me oh well you made a decision cut it out so it's like you were stressing about this and then you were like on the third day you're like well shit I'm not get I'm still not getting any um, any word from this person so might as well just cut it out page of swords and then you looked back the next day might have been spying on this page person's page or something ha oh my gosh <laughs> oh are you learning it's love or someone else has learned. They're spying on you. You cut it out. They're spying on you. And now they're learning it's love. Now they're like, holy moly. What did I do? Oh, no. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I trapped my dog in here when I shut the door a minute ago. And he went it out. So, yeah, you're like, no, I'm not doing this. And that's what triggered them. That's when it said they were like, oh, wait. And they started looking at you. This is the fourth day in. So the third day in, you cut this person out and then they call you or they, they start looking at your profile or whatever. You know, if this is a, a contractor or something and you cut it off and they're like, oh, I didn't know we had a problem, you know. And I had the hierophant on the bottom. It was like we had a contract. I didn't know we had a problem. There was a contract here. And then we're like, well, damn, this was this was really beneficial to me in the end, you know. And they're learning; they messed up, and that put them in a space where now they're just sitting back, only able to watch you, wanting to give to you. So somebody here left you out in the cold. And didn't realize it. They were juggling a lot. Oh, wow. Okay, or this could go reverse, y'all. Either you were juggling a, lot, juggling a lot and you left somebody out in the cold. And then they broke it off with you and you're like, well, what? You know? They were juggling. The two of pentacles left you out in the cold. The two of pentacles didn't give you the communication you need right juggling other things maybe work maybe you know other contracts or other you know whatever it is that's what that's what 
was distracting them or distracting you. However, take it however it is. And then whenever they realized you cut them off, they were like, whoa. I didn't know this was even a problem. I was too engulfed in everything else I had to do in my life to make it stable. And this could have been you. This could have been you. Where you were like, I, I didn't even realize it. That I was leaving you out in the cold. And now you're just looking at this person like... Now what? On the fifth day, you'll be looking at this person like... Or this situation, like, now what? Or they'll be looking at it like... How can I fix this, maybe? What is this two of... Yeah. Justice. Seven of... That's like laying down the law. You have other options. You're moving into these new options. These new contractors. These new uh, whatever, you know. It could be love because the lovers is here on the board twice. This new job, maybe. Whatever. Because the you do have the pinnacles here. It's like you, left, or you were left out of that meeting. That everybody got a raise and you didn't. You know, and then and then the boss was like, "Oh my gosh, why did I leave Leo out? Because they didn't even realize they left you out, maybe." And they were like, "Oh shoot!" When you went in and quit because of that, they were like, "Oh shit!" I just accidentally let my best worker go. It was like it hit them fast the next day. And you were like, well, I'm already out. I already packed my, you know, my station up. I'm ready to go. I got options. I'm calling, you know, I'm calling it quits. And they're looking at that. Look at this. Nine of cups on the bottom. I mean, nine of pinnacles on the bottom. And nine of cups. Nines are like, they're like, it's a new beginning, practically. It's like that stage right before... You get to the 10, which is the one, the new beginning. This is your happiness. This is you leaving the situation to find your happiness. To find somebody that's going to, you know, work for you. Because this is not working for you. So this is the sixth day, September 6th. Something's not working for you. September 7th either because you got the seven of, uh, of swords. Either you're coming up with a strategy or somebody is trying to, to to pull one over on you. What is this? Um, yeah. It's, it's, let me get, wow. Look at this energy. Look at these wands, y'all. Look at all this heaviness. Five of wands. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. You're carrying the load by yourself now. Somebody else is carrying the load by themselves. Oh, it just hit me. Thirteen thirty-one on my timer. Somebody else is carrying a load since you walked away. Their best worker walked away. So now what are they doing? They're carrying the load now on their selves. The load that you used to carry, they're now carrying. Oh, and they are mad. They are not happy about it. It's causing turmoil within them. So you just know on the sixth day, they, this person that you're, you're up against, they're not happy. They're wanting revenge. Look at this. They are but hurt. That's a, that's a horrible expression, but that's what it is. What is the star date? So the seventh. And you said, you know, I'm walking away from this. I'm going to do it like it's supposed to be done. If I'm not going to get this collaboration here on what I need 
for what I need to move forward. I'm putting my energy somewhere else. I hope, I have hope in this, and I also, I am healing from this, and I'm walking away from it. The Eight of Cups, I'm evolving. And then we got the sheet music, which is like, um, details. Like working on the details, the details of your new manifestation, what you're gonna, what you're gonna pull in as success, what you're gonna um, put your energy into, you know. And this right here, he's got support back here. All these people are, are protecting him as he walks through, right? And then when he walks through the gates, like success, you know. Oh, we made it, and this and that. Well, you have support. You are supported during this time. Four of Wands, you're stable. Oh, and you also have got the Hierophant. You are gonna, you're gonna want to manifest something that's more committed, something that's gonna, you know, be balanced out. You're walking, you know, it, it's, it's beautiful that you're walking away from this energy right here. Look at all these wands. It's like a hothead. Seven of swords. And look. Five. Man, this this just... It ruined somebody. You walking away. Eight of cups. Walking away from all that energy. See him? He's like, bye. Bye, Felicia. I'm not even dealing with you. Out of here. And then you're like, okay, let me look at the details in my life of what I got going on. Let me figure out my my commitments, my, you know, my everything, my bills and my everything that I need to. And let me manifest what I need. And then you have the death card, transition. Watch your money through this time, okay? Look at this. Look at his face. He's like, I'm going to come in. I'm going to offer you something. Something you can't resist. I just saw a meme with this face on it with the Knight of Wands. And he was looking at the, at the, I think it was the, it was somebody else he was looking at. And he was like, I'm going to bring you an offer. But it's only going to be an offer for a day. That's what this Knight of Wands is. This, after you end it, somebody's going to come in and they're going to want to offer you something. And they're going to be like, please, can you come back? Because they were under so much stress, so much pressure, so much uh, burdens from your work. Okay, what you used to do every single day. And you were able to handle all of that, all of that every single day without your pay raise. And this person is going to come to you and they're going to say, Oh, can you please come back? You know, here's an offer. Here's a, a beautiful offer. I'm going to give you more money or I'm going to give you the world, you know. You're in the, what you're going to do? <laughs> you might juggle it for a minute. You might think, wait, you might step back and think, this is on the 10th day. This is uh, September the 10th. You might think, uh, oh, well... You know, maybe I should take this offer because they are, they are offering me, you know, something, something nice that I might not can refuse. And you're going to be juggling that in your mind, 1919 on my clock. You're going to juggle that in your mind. And then you're going to say, you know what? Screw this. I'm hanging back from this offer. I have offers elsewhere. I'm going to go and I'm leaving and I'm going to have some drinks with my friends. I'm going to relax. And this is going to be, I'm not going to dwell on this anymore. It's going to be a happy ending. 
I'm not worried. I have visions for the future. I have offers coming in. I have courage. I have, if, if this company, if this was a company and they wanted you so bad, another company will want you to. I can guarantee you. And another company will appreciate you. So speak your truth. Cut off what's no longer serving you. Be authoritative. You're way, you're so much more, you have so much more worth than what these people are giving you credit for. You are worthy. It's a wise investment for you to move on. Leo, this is nice though, because you... You see, you see your worth. And that is, that's what I'm going to name this. You see your worth. Let's get some messages for Leo from Soulmate Twin Flame. Take that like you want. Forgiveness. Integrity. We're going to go through it. Okay, somebody's waking up. Does this situation align with your values and your morals does it I don't think so and I think this soulmate and twin flame card is out here because it's almost like that's what's waiting on you on the other side of this and I'm not talking about another person in particular I'm talking about a higher situation something that's going to bring you up something that's going to elevate you you know and a soulmate connection a twin flame connection is like a higher level of of um it's just a higher level you know and you're waking up to that you're waking up that you're worth a lot more you were in denial for a while it's time to detach with love and wake up to that this was a lesson Ooh, to find your freaking worth. This is a lesson to find your worth. Oh, wow. Well. And y'all are so worthy of something better. New love's coming. Trust the situation. There's apology coming, y'all. They're going to want a second chance. After time apart, they're going to want a second chance. They regret it. <laughs> it's like you quit on somebody. Whether it be work or, you know, something. You quit on somebody. Let's get messages for them in the universe. For Leo. Messages for Leo from the universe. I love this. This card came out earlier today, and I was like, well, that's just fitting. Change is happening, yeah. Changes in your environment is happening. You could be moving, too. I said that in the beginning, remember? This could be a move of some sort. This could be a move of some sort also. <laughs> you could be moving like away, right? And you have to leave your job. And then when you leave your job, your boss calls you and they're like, I am so mad at you. I have all of this I have to do. Not like mad, but you know, they're like, um, I'm so overwhelmed with your work. I can't believe I didn't, I, you know, I didn't pay you like I should have. Oh, wow okay so there's a change in your environment somewhere and it's causing it's it they're saying that you need to have patience during this change you need to go within maybe um go out in nature or something you know make an effort to uh to build yourself up higher you know they say physical activity so if if this is an ending, there's a void. Stuff that void with some kind of outlet, you know? And then, for the best part, the last card that I'm going to do. Happy ending. You'll have a happy ending after this, you know? 
Like, this will... Nothing ends completely, you know, because we keep on going, but this situation, it's going to come up into a place of... He's been looking at me all this whole reading, y'all. This whole reading, this emperor has been looking at me. For some, a small portion of you, you have an emperor that's watching you. You have a divine masculine that's watching you. You got a twin flame card with that. Just for a small part of you. Take it if you will. Leave the rest. Okay, Leah, thank you so much for stopping by. And I appreciate you, especially if you got this far. Uh, I mean, I just love y'all. And I appreciate you. So, please like, subscribe, share, comment. And I love the feedback. I really do. And um, it builds my channel, too. And, and I need some building. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much. And I will see y'all soon. Love and light.